to Guring. 1-1. Curveball hit in the air to left field. Pretty deep going back is Vidal. He's in front of the wall. He looks up, and it is gone. A home run for Simon Guring. 3-2 to two hard. Two outs, ninth inning. 3-2 and two on Larry with McCohen at third. The pitch. A fly ball. Well hit right field. Selzemeyer going back. He's looking up. It is gone. A game-winning two-run home run. Pinch hit by Sean Larry. And Heidenheim wins this game by a score of 4-3. to three. Pitch to him. There's a drive. Well hit deep center field. Bossel going back. Way back. He's in front of the wall, and it's gone. Three-run home run for Sasha Lutz on the first pitch. That is good for a five to one score. So the count is two and two to Sasha Lutz with Luke Summer at first and nobody out. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball hit in the air to right field deep. Rutz going back. He's going back to the wall. He looks up and it's gone. That ball went over the second fence and into the soccer field. What a blast by Sasha Lutz. And it is two to nothing. Sasha Lutz hit that ball over the second fence and it went all the way to the other end of the soccer field in deep right field and it is two to nothing Heidekop. Base is loaded, 1-0 pitch from Herring to Smith. There's a fly ball, hit to right field and deep, going back on it, Retz back at the wall, grand slam home run! A grand slam home run for Andrew Smith. And it is 14-4, Heidenheim. Standard hitter. And there's a drive to deep right field. That ball's not coming back. See you later. That's over everything. A home run for Aaron Dunsmore. 23 years old, right-handed hitter. Bases loaded, one out. And a swing and a fly ball hit high and deep to left field. Satsek going back. That ball is gone. It is a grand slam home run for Terrell Joyce. And the Heidekamp lead, 4-1. to one. Not a very good sign. Here's the 1-1 pitch. There's a high drive to deep right field. You can kiss that ball goodbye. That ball went over everything and into the soccer field. And I can see it out there. No one coming right now from Chartrand. Line drive, left field down the line. Fair ball, base hit. In comes Karp. Schultz rounding third. He's being waved in. The throw from Satek is going to be late. It's a two-run double. Another double. And it's 13-2. Breaking ball. Strike three is called. And that's the ball game. Long hold. Runner goes. And a swing and a miss. The throw to second base by Goering. And they're going to have him by three feet. One ball, two strikes, here it comes. There's a ground ball back to Seyfried. He's gonna go to second for one. Relay throw to first. Is in time, and that's the ball game. A double play, 1-6-3. Stay going to the top of the ninth inning. Heidenheim fighting for their lives with a runner on. Philip Schultz strikes out for the first out. However, Jay Pecci with a flare to right field. It's a base hit, and the Heidekup for alive with runners on first and third. Sasha Lutz, ground ball, base hit to right field. In comes one run to make it 7-6. to six. The tying run moves to second base. However, with two outs, Simon Goering, the last hope for the Heidekopf, and he drops a base hit into center field. This would score the tying run. Jay Pecci comes around, and it's a brand new ball game. And then the next batter, Aaron Dunsmore, hits a ground ball up the middle into center field. Lutz coming around third with the go-ahead run. The throw from Amon, not in time. Lutz scores, and Heidenheim leads 8-7. to seven. An unbelievable comeback in the ninth inning. And it would be up to Luke Summer to close it out in the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Chris Tirzelmeyer with a slow ground ball to Jay Pecci at third. He makes a tough play. Throws to first. And the comeback is complete. The Heidenheim Heidekup, for the second time in their franchise history, win the German Bundesliga Championship. And they do it in the most dramatic fashion possible. They lost the first two games in Regensburg and came back to win the next three. Parkov off second, the pitch, breaking ball, lifted to right center field. Sasha Litz cuts over and is there, makes the catch. Runner is tagging from second. Here's the throw to third base, and Pecci with the tag. He is out. Double play, and the inning is over. Here's the payoff pitch. 
Larry smacks one high in the air to deep center field. Way back goes Goodson. This ball is gone. Just to the left of dead center field, Sean Larry blasts one out of here, and it is three to one. And then fly it out in the second is at the plate, and the first pitch, a soft fly ball to center field. Florian Gutze can't get it, and it bounces behind him, and it's going all the way to the wall. Wolf wasn't there to back it up. Here's Lutz around third scoring, heading to third to Simon Goering. He's there with a triple. It is four to one Heidenheim. Two and two the count, five to one Heidenheim in the top of the eighth. And the pitch on the way. There's a line drive, caught with a leap by the shortstop, Philip Schultz, and the inning is over, no run score. Ball and two strikes, here's the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss for strike three, and this game is over. And you want more baseball? You're gonna get it. Game five has been forced as the left-hander deals to Lutz. This ball hit in the air to center field and pretty deep, going back Goods. He's at the warning track, he's at the wall, and it bounces off the wall and goes over for a home run. And it is one to nothing, Heidenheim. There's the 1-0 pitch to him. Line drive, right field down the line. That is fair, and it's headed towards the corner. Sanchez racing around second base. Sean Larry has trouble picking the ball up in the corner. Sanchez is being held, but he runs through the stop sign. Throw to the plate. He is out. Daniel Sanchez ran through the stop sign, and he is thrown out at the plate to end the inning. For the second inning, runner on first, one out. And the 1-2 pitch. Swung on line drive to the shortstop. Caught on the fly by Schultz. Throw to first, double play. Lang was caught off the base. One ball and two strikes, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and the inning is over. Johannes Krum strikes out Julian Steinberg with a high fastball. Two outs, runner on first. Four to two, Heidenheim, the pitch. Strike three called. Back some chairs. It's white knuckle time. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two outs. If the count goes to two strikes on Joyce, there's the 1-0. There's a fly ball, hit to high and deep right center field. This ball's gonna disappear. It goes into the soccer field. A two-run bomb, absolutely crushed by Terrell Joyce. Leading the Heidi Cup to a 5-1 victory to force this game. And now, Johannes Krum and Julius Spann trying to combine to get this one. And there's a ground ball to Pecci at third. The throw to first, it's in time. And Heidenheim wins. Right-handed hitter with a closed stance and the pitch. Curveball, swung on and missed for strike three. And one strike on Peter Johannesson, the Swedish national team player, the pitch. And the squeeze, the bun is popped up, and it's caught by Johannes Krum, the throw to third base. That is a double play. And the inning is over. The squeeze completely backfires on the Mainz Athletics as Lucas Dickman was breaking home from third base. Game bottom of the third inning. And the pitch from Strickland. Swung a line drive right side, and it tip, takes a huge bounce and goes off of Martin Kiphon into right field. Hornestai ran through the stop sign. He's coming to the plate, and he scores as the ball gets past Max Bolt. And there's the pitch. Runners are going. Pitch swung on and missed. Throw to third base, and they got Strickland by a mile. So they didn't bunt, they, which uh, the outcome is yet to be determined. There's a line shot towards the alleyway in right center field. That ball's down for a base hit, and it gets past Katowski and goes all the way to the wall. Pecci is hustling to second base. He's going to stop there with a leadoff double. Two balls and two strikes. One out, nobody on. Top of the eighth. Five-nothing Heidenheim. The pitch. Breaking ball. Strike three is called, and Lucas Dickman not happy about it. For 80 pitches in that game three, he came back 24 hours later and threw over 60. And DeWolf swings and misses and strikes out. Krum is one strike away from a complete game shutout against the team that led the Bundesliga in every offensive category. A big crowd here in Heidenheim, and they have had lots to cheer about. Game four is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Here's the one-two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Johannes Krum with a complete game shutout. And he is being fully embraced by his teammates. Oh, Thomas is going to run at some point in this sequence. Chrome is set. And the pitch, there he goes. And a pitch out. Goering's throw to second base is in time. There's a huge cloud of dust. And the one two. Breaking ball, and he froze him. Strike three is called. Filled with fans. Here's the 1 0. 
And a high drive, deep right field, way back goes Andriot. It is gone! A two-run home run for Sean Larry. And you knew it at the crack of the bat. It had that ring to it. Goering at second base, Nielsen at first. And Larry drives one up the alleyway in deep right center field. Back goes Endriot. He looks up. It bangs off the wall. Goering around third base. He's coming to the plate. He will score. Nilsson is being waved around two. And the throw gets past everybody. Two runs have scored. And Heidenheim leads. Larry is going to be tagged out at third base by Stefan. As Stefan had retrieved the ball after the wild throw to the infield. Heidenheim trying to draw first blood here in game four. The pitch. A line drive, deep left field, going back good. Well, he turns around. He can't make the catch. It's over his head, up against the wall. Sports Owen one. scores, and Goering is at second base, and Heidenheim leads one to nothing. B.J. Roper, Hubbard, the hitter. Goebel, a very short lead off first. Erasmus set the set, and the pitch. Swung on and missed, and the runner was going, and he's going to be caught in between first and second. Nilsson runs him back to Gruber, and who's going to win the race? Gruber with a dive. He got him. And the 1-1. He's bunting, and it's a good one. Fielded by Roper Hubbard, the throw to first, not in time. Everybody's safe. First and third. Who made his Bundesliga debut the last time the Capitals were in the finals. Swings and lines on a base hit in the center field. Perler scores, and the Heidegger for lead by a score of 3-2. to two. And the pitch. A ground ball to the left side. It is off the glove of Lamb Hunt. He picks it up, throws to first, and his throw is wide. One run is in. Two runs are in. Wilhelm has to go get the ball. They're waving Petsy around. Wilhelm from his knees throws to the plate. It is in time. Petsy is out. But two runs have scored, and Heidenheim leads 5-2. to two. And Brink with good speed at second base. 1-0 the count on Google. Here it comes. A line drive up the middle, base hit to it's center field. Ball. Brink around third, he's coming to the plate. Owens' his throw is in time. He's out at home plate. What a throw by Gary Owens. You hear about a throw being on a rope. That ball was never six feet high. Watch it here on the replay. He had a running start on it. An absolute missile of a throw on one hop received by Simon Goering. No question, Tim Meyer with a punch out. No argument from Brink, and the inning is over. And the pitch to Schmitz. Curveball, line back to Erasmus, and he caught it on the fly, and the inning is over. And here he's got a chance to tie the game. The runners are at second and third with one out. Infield is back. They will trade an out for a run here. Five to three, the Heidegger for leading. The pitch to Brink. A line right center field. That's going to be caught by Sean Larry, and the runners were not tagging. And now here comes the runner to the plate. The throw is in time. He is out. That's a double play, and it is a huge mistake by Danny Langhorst. He did not tag on the fly ball, and he had to go back after Sean Larry made the catch. Larry made the throw to Fields, who relayed it home, and that is a double play to end the inning, and the Hyde Nine fans are going crazy. And uh, right now, Florian Nehring, I think that they're looking at the dirt on the mound. It's really muddy. Tim Meyer is out there. Frymuth threw a couple of pitches to the backstop on his wind there with what looks like a little bit of extra, you know, dry sand, I guess, that they would put on the mound to try to dry it out. And they are going to, in fact, work on it. And Florian Nehring is, boy, he's going to get himself thrown out of the game. He's going to get himself thrown out of the game. Now Simon Goering runs out, and you know what? Now we're starting to see the benches Temper starting to flare here. Florian Nehring's argument is that both pitchers have been pitching. Yep, somebody's been thrown, and it was Florian Nehring. Yeah, yeah. Heidenheim five, Vaughn three. We've had three runners thrown out at home plate in this game. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike three. And after getting the mound fixed up, Clayton Frymuth slams the door in the eighth inning. Three and two, the pitch on the way. A fly ball to shallow center field. Gary Owens racing in, Schultz going out. Schultz with a catch, there are two down. And the Heidekopf are one out away from forcing game. Two down in the ninth. Five to three, Heidenheim leading Bond. One out away from game five. The pitch from Freimuth. A bouncing ball to the left side. The shortstop Schultz fields it. He throws to first, and we are going to game five.
right-hand hitter. And he lines one to right center field. That is going to be a base hit. And it goes all the way to the wall. Lutz coming around third. He scores. Petchy is going to score. Owens right behind him. The relay throw, not in time. Heidenheim three, Zoling in two. Petchy still on first base. Hartkopf's pitch is hit to deep right field. Way back. Oh, kiss that ball goodbye. That thing is still flying, folks. Nine to five. What a bomb off the bat of Mitch Nilsson, his 18th home run of the year. With a breaking ball, the 2-2. Curve ball, swing and a miss, strike three. Nobody on the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. The ball game is over and Heidenheim wins 9-8. Simon Liebke, 17 years old, slams the door. He retires five hitters in a row. First, the 1-0. A big chopper up the middle, and it is gloved behind second by Schultz. He spins and throws to Liebke to get the force. That was a great play by Philip Schultz. And it keeps the Alligators hitless in this ball game. Lee comes home. A high fly ball, leap, leap to left center field. Zamay Price back to the wall. Goodbye! A two-run home run off the bat of Zimon Goering. And save a base hit. There's a comebacker fielded by Hively. He shovels it to Nilsson. And he has held Zoling and hitless through six. Pitch to Lee. Swing and a miss. Strike three. RJ Hively and the Heidenheim Heidekiff for one strike away from taking a two games to none lead. And the icing on top of the cake for Hively would be a seven inning no hitter. One and two, the right-hander comes set. Here's the pitch coming right now. He got him swinging. Strikeout number seven, and it is a no-hitter, a seven-inning no-hitter for R.J. Hively. And he is embraced by his catcher, Zimon Goering, the third baseman, Jay Pecci, and indeed the entire Heidegger dugout coming out to congratulate their right-hand pitcher, the Californian R.J. Hively, a seven-inning no-hitter with seven strikeouts, only three base runners allowed, two via the walk, one via his own error. And he tips his cap to the crowd. A no-hitter for R.J. Hively. For fear, taking Regensburg, fly ball, left field! Alfina Zane, home run! Einzunul Heidenheim. Mitch Nielsen steht in their batter's box. Fly ball, right field, weit weg, weit weg, weiter, weiter! Home run! Oh. Left hand hitter with power, the pitch. Line shot, base hit to right center field. Schultz racing around third, getting the wave home. He will score. Goering is going to third. The throw there is not in time, and it goes off the glove of Lamb Hunt and into the Vaughn Capitals dugout. Two runs will score, and Campbell is at second base. It is 2-0 Heiden Ive. Two balls and a strike on Owens, a dangerous right-hand hitter. The pitch. There's a drive high and deep to right field. Langhorst is back at the wall. He reaches, and that ball is gone. A two-run bomb for Gary Owens, just out of the reach of Danny Langhorst. I think he came maybe within a foot of catching that ball, but it went over the fence in right field, and Heidenheim leads 5-0. Campbell at third, Glaser at second. Here's the pitch. Hard ground ball, base hit through the middle. Campbell will score. Glaser being waved around. Ben Maitzel comes up firing on the fly to the plate. It is way high, and that allows Escara to take second base. It is seven nothing Heidenheim on the two run single off the bat of Fernando Escara. So now Fernando Escara drives one to left center field. That ball is down to the gap and it's gonna go all the way to the wall. This will score two runs. Fernando Escara is standing at second base with a double. The hitter. Here it comes again. 
And he lines it down the right field line. Fair ball inside the line into the corner. Schultz scores. Owens scores. Here comes Campbell. He scores a three-run bases clearing double for Ludwig Blaser. And it is 17 to nothing. There's a swing and a little pop fly off the end of the bat. Racing in is Campbell, and he makes the catch to end the inning and the ball game. The Heidenheim Heidegger can win by a score of 17 to 1.